My name is Titus Motueri, and thank you for inviting me to share my work through this flash talk in this conference. My work was on distribution and genetic diversity of cystic echinococcosis in a non-endemic region, and that is Western Kenya, a one health approach. And cystic echinococcosis is a disease that causes significant public health problems in areas where there is an uncontrolled slaughter or in places where livestock uh, keeping is extensive. And this disease has not been previously reported in Western Kenya, but there has been continued and increased movement of livestock from areas of high disease density to regions of low disease density. And this has amplified the risk of its introduction to a non-endemic region. We have found many cysts in slaughtered livestock. We have conducted molecular analysis in these cysts and confirmed all of them to belong to Echinococcus granulosa sensus stricto, which is the sheep strain of the parasite, but now found in different other uh, species uh, and cattle in our case. Through sequencing, we report 11 haplotypes of NAND1 gene and 19 haplotypes of COX1 gene. And uh, some of these haplotypes are novel and have not been previously reported elsewhere. This has shown an expression of intraspecies variation by genetic drift or selective response, and we are following up to see the effect of these genetic changes. We surveyed dogs in Busia, and we surveyed dogs in the Bogoma counties, and found one dog with a super infection of Echinococcus granulosa centenia species, which was confirmed uh, uh, through a PCR restriction fragment length polymorphism. And on the human component of the study, our human screening survey uh, uh, that involved 1,002 participants identified seven patients with presumptive cystic lesions uh, recommended for follow up according to the World Health Organization. Uh, classification and recommendation. Uh, we find that cystic echinococcosis is transported by routes of animal trend to Western Kenya, and that dogs pick up the parasite from poorly condemned offal. Human evidence is not currently definitive because this is a slow disease. However, if the risk and practices continue, then human infections may be realized and confirmed soon. There is a need for controlled life. Unfortunately, it seems that Titus has got cut off. What a shame. Um, I would love to hear the end of uh, Titus's talk.